Einen wunderschönen guten Morgen hier aus Bukarest. Ich bin hier gerade auf dem ersten Eastern European Mobile Monday Developer Summit und habe hier die Chance mit Fred. Er ist einer von den Samsung Bader Evangelists. Er kommt aus London und er hat sich bereit erklärt, ein paar Fragen zu Bader zu beantworten, die ihr mir über das Internet gestellt habt. So, I just introduced them who you are, that you're a Bada evangelist, and that you're uh, agreed that you can answer some questions about Bada. Okay, that's fine. So, the audience first wants to know, um, will Bada survive? Is there ongoing uh, involvement uh, if you compare it to Android with the huge mass of Android devices? Okay. Um, the view in Samsung is that Bada is here to stay. Uh, the amount of resources that Samsung has behind the development of all the features for 2.0 is significant. Um, as time increases, we'll see that the number of feature phones that Samsung produces will decrease and they'll be replaced with better devices. We're aiming to hit various price points at uh, the mid and low tier. So our view is very much that Bada is here to stay and it will survive. Okay, so if you're talking about low tier, so what is the target group of BADA in your eyes? The target group of BADA in our eyes is uh, multiple, multiple uh, target groups. Initially, we see BADA as being like the, the first smartphone for introducing current feature phone users, uh, Samsung models and other models, to their first uh, smartphone. Uh, also, we see uh, BADA with like the, the Wave 3 as being uh, applicable to the target group whereby maybe they already have existing smartphone and are looking for another premium smartphone and are looking to try something at a particular price point which is comparable to all the other OS's on features uh, and uh, aesthetics and style but provides a really great user interface and a really good user experience. Okay, so that is a huge group. Yes. People can use it. Um, so some developers just asked me also if there will be um, Google Apps uh, inside for Bada. Okay, at this time I cannot comment on whether there will be native Google Apps integrated within the Bada platform. Um, I'm sure uh, my superiors in HQ are aware of this feature, uh, but time will tell. Uh, and as, as soon as I know anything, I'll contact you and you can spread it to the general audience. But as of, as of this time, uh, there is no mention of native Google app integration as well. Okay, so, uh, ihr hattet noch ein paar mehr Fragen. Um, ich habe mit Kiev vorher schon gesprochen und um, er kann oder darf einige davon noch nicht beantworten. Wir werden das aber checken und uh, werden das mit seinen Chefs nochmal absprechen. Wir bekommen da auf jeden Fall noch eine Antwort. Deswegen werden wir jetzt noch zwei, drei technische Fragen mit ihm klären. Um, I just introduced them that you're not aware of every answer of the questions we uh, discussed previously. Okay. And uh, that we will stay in contact for answering them and giving the answer to the audience later. Yeah. And that we switch over to uh, some more technical questions as well. So, um, you just told about Bada 2.0. Um, yes. What are the 2.0 devices? Uh, okay. Will there be updates for that? Right, okay. The, the three Bada 2.0. 2.0 devices in the Wave 3, the Wave M, and the Wave Y. Uh, those have just been introduced to the market. We're hoping that those will uh, sell well in all various demographics to various uh, target, target audiences. Um, updates will be available as and when required. Uh, I have no roadmap of particular updates to be scheduled, but Samsung will endeavour to ensure that the user experience will always be great, and if the software firmware update is required to reinforce that, that will be Okay, so um, regarding to 2.0, which are the main new APIs in your opinion? Okay, well the, the major APIs, we've introduced a number of APIs yeah, yeah. which will allow uh, web designers um, to make use of JavaScript, CSS and um, you know, various web technologies to integrate uh, or even port their applications to data. And in doing so, with these native applications, they will have like a native look and feel. We were introducing their, their, their web technologies. Uh, we've added uh, various tools like the performance analyzer, the memory usage checker. All these tools are there to assist developers in bringing their apps to market and ensuring that their apps are of the highest quality.
Okay, so um, you also told me something about the widget engine before. Is there anything you can say public? Uh, but not at this time. I understand that there is a widget SDK. I myself personally have not used it. Um, we've been most of focusing on the various tools and new APIs for better 2.0. Um, but as and when information comes through to me with regards to that, I can share that with you. Okay. So, um, would you say that with the new um, IDE or the new APIs, it would be more easy to do applications for Bada? Very much so. That's been our aim and to sort of assist developers through like the developer forum with all the various support channels which exist there and also with the new APIs. Um, what we've done, we've created a platform whereby we believe that we can provide, you know, various APIs which allow users to harness all the capability of the device to bring, you know, whatever great and cool ideas they have to market. So we use a native C++ um, and, you know, um, as you know with some of the technical sessions that we've done, it's very easy if you have a good programming, a good background in C++ to get into Varda. So we're hoping that with the new APIs that we've introduced and the, uh, you know, the, the, the standard nature which you can develop for Varda, uh, great ideas will come from the German market and also from the Romanian market. So, just a short personal opinion, which is your most favorite API 2.0? Oh, okay. Your personal most um, my, my background is very much like the um, telephony, so um, I've done like an application which allows you to, you know, upon receiving an incoming call, you can, um, you know, you can actually um, make a detection of who's calling you, get the number, and do some maybe like blacklisting and filtering of that call. So I like the telephony API, there's, there's lots of great stuff in there to be explored. Cool. Thank you for your Thank time. You. And nice and meeting you again. Nice uh, stay here and good luck for your talk later. Thank you very much. Und ihr werdet auch einen kleinen Ausschnitt nachher von seinem Vortrag sehen. Ich werde es für euch mitschneiden und euch dann noch hier unten ans Video dranhängen. Dankeschön für eure Aufmerksamkeit.